Welcome back. Now in this video, we're going to go over what we can do with our markers if we want to section off different parts of the video. We can do that with a table of contents. And all we have to do is use our marker code. We want to make sure that our marker is showing. When our marker bar is showing, we mark off the different points that we want. Now, obviously we're doing this arbitrarily. You would obviously do this according to your content. Then we wouldn't rename each marker. Okay, so now that we have our chapters lined up, and we have them marked off, what's gonna happen is that Camtasia, when it produces the video, it's going to give people the opportunity to skip ahead through different elements of the video based on the chapters that we have designated. Now again, this again is another interactive video and the only way they're going to be able to do that is if they use the smart player. So we can have this on screencast.com or we can have it on our server. And one of the things that we like to show you in this video is how the filing system works and how you would actually put it on your server. We've already seen how you'd put it on screencast.com. But now let's go ahead and process this video we can walk through the table of contents process and then we can actually see how the file structure will be. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go and we're going to now create a local file. And now that we have the custom production settings, we can go forward. We're going to choose the smart player. And then we're going to customize our actual player. Now, to skip ahead, we're just going to work with the table of contents. We want to make sure it's ready and that it's searchable. Then we're going to click Next. Now, we're going to have one more screen after this, and we're going to click Next. And we're actually going to now be able to dictate what our table of contents is going to be like. We can fix it to the right or fix it to the left. We can have text with, with thumbnail. We can number marker the entries. So we've got some flexibility over what our table of contents is actually going to look like. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click Next. And we're going to go ahead and produce our project. And one of the things you're going to see right off the bat is we're going to have a number of files that are going to be available to us. So now we're just going to click Finish. And then we're going to let the project start its rendering. Now the video is complete and you can see that we have our table of contents. It's clickable. But now this video is now on our hard drive. What we're going to do now is we're going to take those files and we're not going to upload them to our server. So we're going to come back here and open our production folder. Here are all the files, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to upload them to a site. And so now the same file can be served from our server and can be represented here on our site. So the same smart player is there, the same level of interactivity is there, it's now on our site and not on screencast.com. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.